Cone Bonois, good evening, Enclave. That's right, if you are watching this, you are officially part of the Enclave. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 5, episode go. Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Episode 5 of America Rising 2, the Fallout 4 modded series, America Rising 2, starring... Isabel Steele, back in our schoolgirl outfit, guest starring with a special guest appearance by Heather Kasdan, who is also in the schoolgirl outfit, and she's apparently chopping some meat. That looks like some mole rat meat. We're going to do some, some Heather stuff this episode. Wait, what's going on? What's, what's this? All right, I did. I admittedly, I am not the best builder. I'm not at all, but I did some, uh, all right, she used the chem station, bravo, we did some building, our pit boy light is on, in between episodes, nothing major, we got a lot of Enclave and Mr. Pebbles going on, because those are the two most important things to Isabella right now, she's very excited about the Enclave, very excited about Mr. Pebbles, who who isn't so just did some uh, basic decorating we got a bunch of the enclave posters up I do have a mod on to try to clear up red rocket a little bit more so I can try to build more not saying it's gonna be successful I already started to try to like lay down floor and I, I don't know as soon as I start doing it like I hate it <laughs> I don't know why I'm not fond of building in Fallout 4 but I, I'll try I do like that I can actually see out over here so I'm glad that the mod that I put on got rid of all the bushes and stuff that are here it cleared out most of the nonsense it's just much cleaner my OCD, I think that's another reason why I generally don't enjoy building, because my OCD, it just gets me when there's just, just all that nonsense around. Like, this irritates me so much. This. That I, oh, it's such a silly thing, but it's, again, if you, if you, uh, if you legitimately have OCD like I do, and... You, you understand what I'm saying. You feel me. But if you don't, then you might be like, what in the world is wrong with this guy? But uh, why is there just a... Just a Brahmin having a stroll over here? If you're new to the channel, those are Roshko Nagaijimas. Please subscribe if you have not done so. If you're new to the series, Hajime Mashite. Subscribe if you have not done so. If you are a regular like Isabella Steele, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is not just a character I made up. This is a real person. <laughs> this is a real life person that's one of my subscribers, one of my viewers, been with me for, oh god, it's almost two years now. It's crazy. Um, at one point in time, I asked if I could make her a character, and she was the star of the Whispering Hills series, and then, uh, she had suggested this mod, which was on my radar, and we decided to, uh, go full-blown Enclave here. Daniel, yeah, we're doing it. Daniel's another regular, but if you are a regular, Okai Renasai, welcome back, welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. It means... It means a lot. It does. Thank you for any moment, any any amount of time you spend here with me. I don't know whose Brahmin this is, and it's kind of bothering me that there's just a Brahmin. Does it? If I go up to it, can I bash it? It just says Brahmin. Oh, Bra I'm the type of gal who will never settle down, where people are farming potatoes and putting them in the ground. Yeah. I'll eat them and I'll sell them, but won't pick them off the vine because the open road is where I lead this good old life of mine. Cause she's a wanderer, yeah, a wanderer, and a wander, 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 wander. 
All right. Um, yeah, there was all kinds of settlement mods, and again, I just wanted I just wanted one for Red Rocket, and the problem I have a lot of times when I'm looking, I just want something very specific, and what doesn't seem like again i don't know how to make mods so it doesn't sound like it would be too difficult in my head like why can't i get rid of this uh uh but yeah it's a lot harder a lot harder than uh to find most of the time than stupid tire what if i take this tire and i put it in here can i that can i that can i scrap it then i can that work with other things? Like, what about this cone? I can move this cone, right? Can I scrap this cone? Oh my god. I found a new game to play. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have no idea if this is going to work. All right, it's not. Yeah, it's like it's acting like this is not actually a thing. Okay. Oh wait, wait. No, that didn't work. What did I just disable then? Seriously, what did I just disable? I disabled something, but it wasn't this. I tried to disable the <laughs> I tried to disable the Prindwin once, and you can't do that either. All right, what what am I disabling? But you can get rid of certain things this way. But yeah, this is not working. Disappointing, but not surprising. All right, I thought that'd be a fun, fun way to get rid of this shenanigans, but can't do it. Yeah, if you ever have something like the Skellingtons at Starlight Drive-In, like I hate them, um, or even this doggy, the doggo over here, like he he lives here forever. His dead body lives here forever. You should be able to do him. Yeah, boom. Gone. Now there's still blood on the ground, but like if that's bothering you, you can make that go away and it doesn't that doesn't hurt anything. As far as I can tell. I don't know why that would cause any problems. But yeah, I can take these tires. I wonder if I could like blow the car up and get the car to land. <laughs> I know what I'm going to be doing in between episodes now. See if I can blow the car up and get the carcass of the car to land in over here. And then I can then I can go in. This is not what the whole episode is going to be, I swear. I swear. I'm getting distracted. What else is new? Okay. That's it. We are going to go on a tour today. Like I said, I wanted to spend more time with Heather. I just wanted to show that I, I kind of started to do something. I want to do like stairs to go up top so that I can build on top of the red rocket. I think that will be fun. Like what if we build up? Because again, I tried putting the floor and it, and it, it, I don't know, it was bothering me. I was not happy with it. But if I build like stairs up and then we go up there and then I put like floor on top of there and then I build up from the red rocket and like maybe make like a tower of some sort. I think that would be, I think that would be fun. All right, so let's go in. My son thinks it's a good idea. Um, yeah, we want to do the tour of the Commonwealth. So, um, I feel like we've been to Cambridge PD. I'm not gonna say we're gonna do all this this episode, but I'd like to do some of these. Nuka World. Oh, I don't know. I'm not ready to go to Nuka World. So let's take a look. Where where should we go first? 
Alright, we've been to North Boston. I mean, if I go to Dunwich Boars, then we're close. I don't. Problem is, I don't remember where things are half the time. So I know the Salem Witch Museum is over here. I know Parsons is roughly over here from my Frost series. So screw it. Let's go to Dunwich Boars. And we'll start there. So exciting things to talk about. The Fallout series, I am now six episodes in, and oh my god. Episode six. I love... Where am I exactly? I love... I don't remember this truck, and I don't know why. I... 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 What am I even saying? Alright, I can see the, that person walking over there, but... Vats is not vatsing. Seriously. All right, we don't need to mess with these dudes. No, we don't. We don't. Come on, we don't need to mess with them. The witch's hat is literally on the screen. Let's just go to the witch's hat. I mean, I wanted it to be daytime, but then I fast traveled and it made it be nighttime. So completely defe defeating my point. All right, who's shooting at what now? No idea. Radiation. Just what I ordered. What is it? What is? What am I detecting here? I mean, it's not letting me detect it. Seriously, where is... Oh my god. I was just here... in my Frost series. And that's... That's a lot of rads, and, um, I didn't put God Mode on. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. That's so funny. And I don't have anything with me. What does this do? Yeah, I don't know what that, what that means. That was, that came with the mod that I put on for building. Alright, let's just throw God Mode on so we don't die. And I'll deal with that radiation later. Win again. All right, I did update. Update? Nope. Upgrade? Yes. Why is it not still not detecting whatever this is? There we go. Hugo's Hole. That sounds like an adult film. It sure does. Hugo Struggle. Mr. Handy Model Kit. Yes, please. I'll take the hazmat suit. I'll take the. I don't need the gun. Do some sticky lock picky. Sweet. I did get a new subscriber, but then my subscriber count didn't go up. YouTube does that a lot, and I'm it confuses me every time it happens. Cause I'm like, what? Why is it not going up? Hey, like you like using the chemistry station? I, I don't have anything I can make. I can make a robot repair kit, but I don't need that. Do you want to use the, the chemistry station again? Twinny, twin, chemistry, look, look, a chemistry station, you wanna, can I make her do it? Hey. Hey. No. <laughs> I don't know what else. Let me out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've encountered this bug before. Yeah, it wouldn't let me, it let me go out. Yeah, go right there. Got it. All right, craft me out something. Make me some goodies. Heather. All right, she doesn't want to. And I can't make her. Let's go. Let's go to the witchcraft museum. I don't want to be in Hugo's. <laughs> I don't want to be in Hugo's hole anymore. Thank you. All right, so yeah, I upgraded the weapons. That was something else I did. Cleaned out the inventory. Look, I'm actually within weight capacity, like a big boy. Um, so I made the Gauss rifle as best as I could with the perks that I have. And I did the same thing with the purifier. 
which was a reward that we got. And it's good against uh, ghouls and super mutants. So it's like, it's again, it's huge. So we have those two enclavey weapons. We were wearing the enclave uniform, but since we're just, we're, we're, it's our days off. It's We have a couple days off. And we're just going to do some exploring. Legend says there are witches in Salem. Like from a storybook. Why are you all the way back there? I have mentioned this before in an episode, but I don't know if I've mentioned it recently. I've been to the Salem Witch Museum in real life. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty hokey. It's pretty hokey. Not gonna lie. And it kind of looks pretty much like this. Alright. Why is it not... Do I have to go in it for it to count with her? I thought maybe I just had to come here. Didn't Wasn't this on the list? I mean, we all know what this is. Hell are you not... Am I hallucinating that this was on the list? Museum of Witchcraft is on the list. All right, I guess we have to go in. So we all know what this is. It's a, it's a cute little... We'll do it real quick, because it's not a long quest. And I oh, should be able to... What's that? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, Heather. I don't know where these guys came from. Yeah, I'm still not good with laser weaponry. <laughs> you hit like a wild rope. Which is part of the problem of me using it. Okay, Let's just go for body shots. Body shots. Body shots. Alright, is that everybody? Alright, let's go. I don't have a stim pack. Oh, I do have a stim pack? Oh. I thought you didn't have a stim pack. Oh, I How did I just give <laughs> How did I just give her a stim pack when I don't have a stim pack? Why do I have junk all this junk on me? Weird. Okay. Unhurt. Thanks. First you say let's fight. But then you won't. Then you say I'll die. But then I don't. I don't know. That was weird. Do, do super mutants normally spawn here? I don't. I don't even remember that being the case or not. All right. So I don't have to actually do this. Just coming in here counts. Man, that thing. Yes. yes. Huge. What do you think it is? Maybe it's an alien. A very fucking scary alien. It's a death claw. See, he's knocking giblets through the floor. You can't see him, though. This, this, what's, what's so funny about this quest is it feels, it's awesome, but it also feels like super out of place, <laughs> at least in my opinion, with Fallout 4 in general. Like, this was like if Fallout 4 was a survival horror game, all of a sudden out of nowhere, there, now I have a skin pack. Which would actually be interesting if they did, like a whole. Uh, Something's not right. I can feel it. Game or or, or storyline? I don't think maybe a whole game, but like a whole like bigger quest line of uh, like a survivor horror thing, like related to Dunwich. Since I mean, arguably, 
to a lot of people that's one of the more interesting um, mysteries or stories. I, I don't know how to put it. Like, it's just... Okay. First of all, bothering me more than the death claw upstairs. The mannequin. Who I apparently I can't I, who apparently I can't kill the mannequins. Seriously. All right. Well, the lady went down. Please. Please. Yeah, Whispering Hills. That's it. Which I played like a big boy all the way through, like the, I think the first episode or so. I had God mode on, and the mod author asked me to to get the full experience to turn off the God mode, and I did, and um, thus I got a lot, of <laughs> had a lot of deaths, a lot of deaths, and uh, but I made it all the way through. But there's a lot of mannequins. And I don't like them now forever because of that. They were tanky. They were plentiful. And they didn't even give you anything. So, like, you, you fought them. And got nothing for fighting them. I like how they give you just give you a missile launcher. Like, here, use this. I don't think we're sneaky at all. But we can try. Where is he? Where is he? I don't remember when he comes out. When does he... When exactly does he come out? But yes, if I remember correctly, there are mannequins. Not like these mannequins, but there are mannequins. Savage death claw. Oh my. Oh, that's not enough damage. Especially when I miss half the time. Death claw. Help. Oh, only 9% chance. Oh, can we land one shot, please? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm being eaten. Oh my. He no clipped me through. No clip me through the ceiling. Oh well, that didn't go particularly well. But so we did not it. not an alien then, just a death claw. Yep, yeah, just a death claw. Am I still sneaking? No. All right. I hate you. I can't knock the lady one over for some reason. I hate you, Heather. You getting your steps in? Hate you. Yeah, one of the crazy things about the mannequins. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Critical hits with unarmed, which I'm not doing at all, so not helpful to me. Is that they would respawn sometimes? So, like, she literally just scared me. I know I have a companion, but I'm in the middle of messing around with these jerks. And then seeing her run over there for a second literally scared me because I was like, oh no, is that a mannequin coming to get me and I'm not even playing? I know, you're like, you're not even playing that. Well, how would you think it was a mannequin? I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's like, I'm like permanently jump scared by this. Pristine death clock. Don't you, you need that? For a, uh, yeah, something, something, wanted me to do something with it. Alright, we're just gonna take it. We're not, we're not worrying about that for now. We come in here, we'll grab, we'll grab the goodies. So if we want to actually do that at some point in time later, we have everything we need to do it. And we're just gonna bounce out and keep going. So Parsons is, I feel like it's north Northwesty from here?
and we will we'll do some enclave stuff too. But I, I hey. want. I, okay, here we go to Pit Boy Light. Really wish I could have found the mod that would have addressed that. But no such luck. Now, I'm not trying to discourage you from going to the Witchcraft Museum because I think it's kind of fun and I very much would like it to continue to exist. So if you've not been, please, please go check it out. But it just please know it's it's don't have your expectations too high. <laughs> it is a wee bit hokey. All right, so um trying to use my brain to remember where things are. That's always a challenge. Super mutants orders. Why would the super mutant have orders? It's a super mutant. Kill, loot, return. Okay, I mean, fair enough. That that seems right. I like I like <laughs> I like that uh, that was even a thing. Okay. So I tried to take the suicider out smartly, but instead. Um, look at the beautiful sky. Kind of murdered Isabella to death. Alright, so we're just going to go northwesty until my brain starts working. There's the fish packing plant. There's that, uh, that really weird. What the hell was that? That really weird random shop up over here. That is actually like one of the only shops that actually exists in Frost. With a friendly person in it. Right? Right up. Yeah, over there. Okay. So I do kind of know where I am. Sort of. Probably doesn't have anything I want, but... It's the middle of the night, man. What you doing? Hi. Leonard? Sorry to interrupt you playing with your melons, but, uh... Best scrap in the Commonwealth. Right here. Okay. Anything been happening around here? Anything been happening around here? If you don't mind, prefer to just talk shop for now. A lot of quality goods here. I don't believe you. Let's see what you have. Um... I'll take the stim pack. I don't I don't really need anything else. I don't I don't have a lot of money actually. I do not have a lot of money, so I clearly forgot to throw after I did the weapon stuff, forgot to throw this into uh <sighs> where I'm keeping stuff. My inventory, my chest, or whatever. I mean, I don't really need a hazmat suit. I can have the beer. Um. How much are these things worth? Dick. They're not. <laughs> They're literally not worth anything. Oh my god. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. Thanks, Leonard, I guess. Is that the slog? I think so. If I see the slog, I'm getting stuck on something. That's that's not the that's a that's that's just a bridge. Not even close to being the slog. Is that a hospital? That's Parsons. <laughs> I did know where I was going. Oh, I just so rarely travel at night. That's one of the things. I don't really travel at night very often. In fact, if I could find a bed, 
which now I know we're by the slog. All right, so this is the weird thing where there's like mercenaries. You're but trespassing on private property. Better move along or else. This place is off limits. Move along. Okay, but isn't there somebody I'm supposed to actually talk Lock to? Lock and load. No. Lock thought, and load. I thought. Wasn't there somebody? Isn't there supposed to be somebody in charge of this place? Maria or something like that? Alright, fine. The Gauss rifle is very cool. I've never used it as a weapon before. In a playthrough, so it's really uh, fun to check it out. I like it was Isabella's suggestion, but I like um, trying to do different things. Like in my Frost playthrough, I'm using power armor, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hated it for quite a while, and now I kind of love it. And it's a problem because what is going on with this trash can? Okay. Last mistake! It's my first on mistake. It. I only get one mistake? Yeah, it's like I have to use VAT with this. It's just if I, it, I... Even with bumping it up so that it does uh, a lot of damage, I just... I suck with it, I guess. I swear there's normally a leader here that you can talk to. Alright, but wait. We're at Parsons and she hasn't said anything, so we have to go into Parsons? Which we can't, pick can't this. do because we need to go to Cabot House first. Damn it, I forgot about that. Ah, stupid human, always forgetting things. All right, Cabot House. I don't know why I hit that. That's we're not playing Fallout seventy six. That's where the map is in seventy six. Okay. I don't, I don't, hold on, let's turn that quest off first of all, and then hit the wrong button for the millionth time. All right, so we want to go to Cabot House. Cabot House is, holy Moses, um, Jesus. Like, over here? Right? All right, she just wants to go to Vault 81. All right, let's fast travel to Diamond City. And then maybe we can go to Vault 81. I, th I believe I could get in Vault 81 right off the bat. Isn't there that quest where there's like the little kid and he wants you to chase after him or some nonsense like that? I've, I'm always bad at that for some reason. All right, they didn't actually want to come in here in here but I mean she wanted noodles there we detected the market anyone is one of those things it's that secretary of his her and her perfect hair mm-hmm the mayor's secretary come on ma I cut her hair myself and I know human hair that's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able Becky to tell so the up. difference. You'd think she if was selling pre war clothing in with perfect razor, condition in that bleed. basement of hers. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Vintage, buff out, stim packs, jet, everything to even you All right, out. Heather wants out. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that's Arrest, parade apparently. is only. All right, fine. Combat zone. Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. Explore the combat zone. That's another, like, in my opinion, underdeveloped area. You know, so I started to say like a million years ago and I never got to my point. Episode 6. I still have two more to go of the Fallout show. I'm still really enjoying it. I see, I see some mixed feelings about it and people arguing about canon and stuff like that. Fine. You know, you do that, argue about it. I'm still enjoying it. Um, episode 6 hit me so hard with the feels. 
And I, I, I have no problem admitting it. So hard. So I want to go like slightly northwest. So like out this way would be the place that would make the most sense. When they showed the... Plenty of shops inside the city. If you need to trade. NCR flag. And then... Heads up. Things can get tough around here. I once turned the corner and ran into a death claw fighting a bunch of muties. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. The the riff, the opening riff for Fault New Vegas. Oh, because I, I love New Vegas so much. That's why I'm so happy I'm playing Dust. I mean, it's not vanilla New Vegas, but still. It's still... Someone there? Yeah, somebody's here. I'm going to miss every shot, aren't I? Okay, now not every shot. 50-50 chance. Oh, right in the kidneys. Sure, I'll blow it up. Just because it's going to mess, mess with me otherwise. Come on. 60%. Only 9 XP for killing these bums. Where was that shot going? Oh my god. Look at that cover he's got. Amazing cover. Alright, let's just take out this hound before he gets too close. Maybe. Maybe if I can shoot. I get more for killing the hound than I do for killing a super mutant. That's embarrassing. I don't have penetrator. It, I mean, it says 53%. I don't know how. Because it's lying. Absolutely lying. Could you please? Oh my god. <laughs> You're so smart. Why am I kicking your ass? I mean, if you're super mutants, you're not smart. Please, can we shoot him in the arm? This is... This is... This, that one pipe is blocking me. Here, have a grenade. We played. We won. All right, I don't think I actually got him with the grenade, but right there, it's on the compass. Tick is up, so let's go to Vault 81. That was ridiculous. Well, we're supposed to be killing mutants anyway because, you know, Enclave, all the Enclave stuff. This must have been a nice little place before the war. They had their own vault up the I hill, just, saw a mutant just like hound sanctuary. By. What do we got? What do we got? All right, let's take him out before he even knows we're here. Ooh. All right. Right in the butthole. Oh, yeah. No, we're not going to make that, but whatever. All right, we got the ghoul. Oh, I did hit him once. Well, that was impressive. Look at all that blood. I saw something. Here's the fails talking. Are there like raiders around? Yeah, there's like raiders on the Another right there. Win. Let's do this. Sorry that the vats is tedious. But uh otherwise I'll miss a thousand times. Alright, it's cricket! It was cricket. What's up, Cricket? What's up, girl? Where's your Brahmin? Hey. Come on, come on! Get your guns here! Small booms, big booms! I got them all. I like to pretend that Cricket is Tiny tiny Tina from Borderlands grown up. Um, kind of stuff do you what have? What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot death flying faster than the speed of sound. Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. She said cock. Uh, sure, I'll take a look. Let's see what you have. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. All right. Do we know what Cricket looks like without the without the hood on? Because she's pretty freaky looking. I'm just curious uh, if she has hair at all. Does Cricket have hair? I could probably Google that. <laughs> 
Oh, plasma grenades. Oh my god, I've been waiting for them. Okay, finally got plasma grenades. Spray and pray. Um, sure. Alright. I don't have that much money though. Okay. We're we're getting a little bit a little getting a little bit too excited here when we don't have money. Um alright, what can we do here? Can we make this happen? I don't need the cryogenic grenade. I don't need the frag mine. I don't need the missile launcher. That's not really helping me though. You can have the Molotovs. What if I gave you all these? Um, this is why I normally pick up everything. <laughs> uh, okay. So what if I sell some of my junk? Like I have gold. Is gold worth anything? How is gold not worth more than that? How about nuclear material? Oh my god. Alright, let's just sell everything. All my junk. Can we make this happen? It's looking like not even close, but let's see. Let's see how close we can get. Oh my god, we're still going to be like a thousand dollars short. Oh my god. Alright, even all these. Give them all these. I'm gonna have no money left. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. Well, I can do it. I can do it. Them plasma grenades, I guess we're uh Woo! All right, screw it. Cricket, did you tell the Institute about what Jack found? Wait, what, who's Jack? What, 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 who, who's Jack? All right, anyway, there. All right, see you, Cricket. Thanks for stealing all my money. I feel about birds. Alright. Let's do some running. Can we hit this festering boat fly? Once. I feel like the world's biggest gun, and but I still can't. <laughs> I still can't. Kill things. That, still can't kill a bug in one hit. I mean, I just killed a black bloat fire in one hit, but still. All right, and we're pretty much here. I have this memory of, uh, like, the first time I came here a million years ago, that there's like a little kid and he wants me to chase him or something like that. I really must confess, I'm a weary exile. Singing my song of loneliness. You shouldn't be lonely. We're together. We're twins. Oh my god. I just realized I can also give her wolf ears and a wolf tail. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of that. Bobby pin? I can't even see the bobby pin. Where is it? So that cricket experience, that just reminds me why I, I normally take everything. Let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Vault 81, you're still up and running? Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that Pip-Boy. 
Why are you asking about my pip boy? Why are you asking about my pip boy? We get plenty of scavengers and traders passing by the entrance. Everybody wants to get at the shiny red button. But you're the first one to try it with a working pip boy. Now where'd you get it? I just got a, I I got it in Vault 111. I, I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111. Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Murder? What's with the third degree? I'm just a traveler uh, taking a look around. Let me in, damn it. You really don't want me as for an enemy. <laughs> I'm just looking to do a little trade-in. Just looking to do a little trading? Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller, can't you just let me in? And that's red, so I'm gonna fail it. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? All the more reason to help out a fellow vault then. Oh, <sighs> I'm interested, what, what do you need? I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. You're a giant pain in my ass. I don't know if I have three fusion cores. I definitely don't have three fusion cores on me. What do you need what them for? What do you for? need them for? I'm no engineer, but I've been told we need them to help supplement our power generators. So if the task seems trivial to you, I assure you, it's very important to us. Oh, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to say it sounds easy because I don't know if I have them. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. Good. You can contact Officer Edwards through the intercom when you're done. It's a simple enough task, but good luck. All right, I'm striking out here. So we can't get in the Parsons without going to the Cabot House. We can't get in the Vault 81 without the fusion cores. I might have fusion cores uh, back at Red Rocket, which is where we started. So if I planned out things better, <laughs> which I don't, obviously, then uh, we would have already had the fusion cores with us. And we would have been able to pop right in. But that's okay. So we'll just do a quick fast travel. To Red Rocket. See if we happen to have fusion cores. Because uh, for the life of me I can't remember. This episode is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper Cream. I love cream in my mouth Dr. Pepper cream don't be nasty all right where did I put all my junk I think I'm keeping all my junk in here um what do I have okay my son is threatening to beat me with a empty milk container for some reason. I don't know what's happening. We'll put the spray and pray in. I'll play with that later. Honestly, we'll put this in too. Um, all right. Uh, bu -bu 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 yeah, it's weird. I put some of them in here, but not. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Fusion core. Fusion core. Fusion one two. Did they say they had to be full ones? Do they have to be full ones? So what if I go one, two... No, those count. Oh, no, not all 15. No, 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 no. Alright, one, two, three. Right? They said they didn't say they had to be full. That's three fusion cores. And one of them's almost dead. The other two are pretty good. Alright, so wait, 
Wait, wait, damn it. What if I have cat ears? Do I have a cat? No cat, it would be here if I had the cat tail. Do I have an extra set? I have fox ears and a fox tail, so I can make her a little different. I don't have an extra set of wolf ears and wolf tails. All right, hold on. So we'll do the fox. I don't know why I have them. Where are you? Come here, foxy lady. Hey. Mm-hmm. We're gonna trade. I want to store, and then equip. <laughs> it's coming out. Look, look. I didn't realize on her bag. I did not realize that. I did not. What the hell? I did not realize that. That is that is hilarious and awesome that Mr. Pebbles is on her bag. Because we also love Mr. What is happening? Wait, what's going on at Sanctuary? Seriously. Alright, Bomb is running from... Uh, okay. Wasn't, ex wasn't expecting that. How about, how about this guy that's coming right at me? Oh, this is a lot of robots. The Junkions are attacking me, like what the heck? Boom! A lot of the swarm bots specifically too, it's weird. I keep making them do spinny roonies. I'll take the 40 XP though. That's nice. Right, but again. Excuse me, Heather. Why was there a Brahmin running around again? Why does this Brahmin live at my... I have no idea what this Brahmin lives here. Wait, what? Why did Heather just... Run? Where did Heather go? She just ran up and... Uh, did she fall in the water? Oh, she's teleporting around. Okay. She can teleport, apparently. What is that? Heather, what, how are you teleporting? What is that? I don't know. I'm confused. Let's go to Vault 81. <laughs> That's not where the map is! Ah! Let's go back to Ball 81 and get in there. And maybe we'll do like half of her list and then we'll go back to the oil rig to talk to the general of the Enclave. Yes, but apparently she loves Mr. Pebbles. I love Mr. Pebbles. I don't know how uh, real Isabella feels, but uh, game Isabella, America Rising 2 Isabella loves Mr. Pebbles. That's why she has two signs up for him. Oh, look at the laser turrets. I didn't even remember them. All right. So you're back. I take it you got what Overseer McNamara was looking for. Yep, I got him. You still need him? Yeah, all three of them. Obviously, why else would it be here? The easiest job I've had in Prowl. Yep, I got him. He, uh, yes, all three of them. Yeah, all three of them. All right. I'm opening the door. Overseer McNamara and myself will meet you at the entrance. Oh, and behave yourself. 
You start any trouble, we'll toss your ass right back outside. Bro, I'll shoot you right in the face. Right? Right in the face? Come on, Win. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? I'm impressed you maintain a successful vault for this long. You keep... Keeping yourself is crazy. There's a whole world you're missing out on. So do you rely? So you rely on the Commonwealth? Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for this long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. You should be worried. The Commonwealth is a dangerous place. You should be open-minded about the Commonwealth. It has its dangers, but it has a lot to offer. Uh, you should be wary. You should be wary. The Commonwealth is a dangerous place. Exactly why we rely on a select few traders for our needs. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. How often do you end up trading with the outside? How often do you end up trading with the outside? More often than you may think. A couple of times a month, I'd say. It also helps us keep up with Commonwealth news. And the fusion cores? You do have them, don't you? What if I lied? Um, <laughs> of course, here they are, finally. I thought you'd never ask. Here you go, I'm sure you'll put them to good use. Of course, uh, here they are. Of course, here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. So, first of all... Don't go feeling all special because the Overseer let you in here. You weren't the all, first, and certainly won't be the last. Shut up, bro. I'm trying to look at uh, the thickness that is Gwen, because... Hmm. Radiation levels are pretty high. I she recommend is, uh, you stop by our medical center as soon as possible. She, yeah, my hey, radiation ashes. level is pretty high. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ashes. Oh, Aaron, her cat got loose in Damn the it. Commonwealth. Aaron's not going to like this. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. All right, I was... A lot's happening here. I was trying to check out Gwen's thickness. Katie Penn is the teacher here. Oh, anymore. my God. She'd stop by her class. She's big on... I'm going to go down here to talk because you you won't shut up. Uh, so... <laughs> So, first, hey, what's up? What are you doing down here? You're that Commonwealth traveler, aren't you? I can't get away from people. There's people everywhere. Um, why Why is Gwen so dirty? She's the overseer. And, like, this dude's not dirty. Is he? No, he doesn't have, like, dirt on his face. He's not dirty. How about you, Officer Edwards? Trying to look Another at, outsider. Trying to look at your face. What they let you in for. Alright. He's he's wait, where's the, the lady I, I normally enjoy killing if I'm gonna kill anybody? Look at me. I'm trying to talk to you. What's with the attitude? What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before, we don't need it now. The overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. What do you have against outsiders? What do you have against outsiders? All outsiders do is take advantage of you. They're nothing but selfish animals. How do you know? Did something happen? How do you know? Did something happen? Let's just say I learned my lesson the hard way. Don't try anything. Alright. So, like, everybody's clean. Or is that, I'm trying to see, is that scruff or is that dirt on his face? People won't stand still. But, Gwen seemed like she was um, unnecessarily dirty, her face. But anyway, I guess she's a dirty Sorry girl. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Was it just the women? 
You're, you're not talking. <laughs> Why is her mouth just going and going Don't on? Don't want any trouble in 81. Oh, okay. You're broken. Yeah, so Gwen and her super dirty faces. Uh, maybe? I can't tell if that's dirt on his face or he has freckles. Anyway. I like Gwen's uh, thickness, though. You're, you're a little... The Commonwealth sounds so exciting. You're a little skinny. And dangerous. What are you doing? There's, there's no bolt there. You're just wasting your time. All right. Heather's not reacted to being here yet, so I guess we have to actually go in proper to get the reaction from her. Where did she go? She was in here with me. Heather! Heather needs to stop teleporting. How'd you get on top of the elevator? There we go. Alright, so is that little kid? No, don't go out. I don't want that little kid to trigger because I don't even want to talk to him. Alright, I mean, that's it. We're leaving. <laughs> yes, I know there's a lot more we can do in Vault 81, but... I was just mainly doing that. Like, if uh, who knows? There might be an Enclave quest that sends us back here. Um, I mainly just wanted to check that off of her list. All right, let's bounce out of here. The work never ends in Vault 81. All right. We got a barber here if you need it. I, I'm not saying you do. Still trying to get a look. Yeah, her. She's not, she wants to keep fiddling with whatever she's looking at down there, but her face is clean. I just find it odd that the overseer would have such a dirty face in a, in a vault that's very clean and, I don't know, it's just weird. Why well, I keep rambling about it. So, uh, Cabot House, I'm still trying to remember, again, I have a rough idea of where Cabot House is. Trying to do this all just from memory, like not even memory of playing Fallout 4, but memory of playing the other mods. So we talked about the one exciting thing, which is the Fallout show. Um, unless something pretty drastic happens in the last two episodes, I can't imagine my opinion changing on it of that I'm enjoying it. Um, I mean... We're going to have to... I have, like, nothing over it on this side of the map at all. So, it's like we're going to have to go. We have been to the Cambridge Police Station. That was on her list. Maybe because, again, I didn't go in. Yeah, we were, out, she, we were outside and we were fighting. I just don't think I knew at that time that it was on the list. I hadn't looked that closely at the, at the list to see. But the other thing that's super exciting... But then there's a problem two days later. The thing that's super exciting is Fault London comes out on the 23rd. All right, so we're here. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Have you been standing here for like a week since I, since I helped you before? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? Um, I prefer to keep my business to myself. I'm just trying to survive here like everyone else. Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Um, I mean, we know who they are. I'm just gonna go Pest with this. Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. Do all these questions really matter? After all, I I'm helped fail you this fight those fail ferals. This would be yourself. much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. Now, where are you from? I come from Poop Town. I'm from Sanctuary Hills on the other side of Concord. No, I'm from Red Rocket. Um, sure, we'll we'll say that I guess. I'm from Sanctuary Hills, on the other side of Concord. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. There isn't much over there for us to collect. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. 
That all depends. How much are you paying? I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation for it. At this rate, we'll be dead within two days. I want no part of it. Um, I mean, I will make some money. That all depends. I'm going to fail this, How much though. are you paying? So you're a mercenary. What? Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Uh, it's a good plan if we make it back, I guess. I, I don't know. It's a good plan. If we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. But I don't... I don't really want Dance with me. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. All right, that's let's not, move out. That's people. not that's not All gonna right, happen anytime guy. soon. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Can I steal from here? You better get a move on. It's not a good idea to keep Paladin Dance waiting. I want you in my wigwam. You're just the way I want you to be. A million times hotter than TNT. Yeah. All right. <laughs> get out of my way. All right, hopefully this triggers. Or the door's not working for some reason. That was weird. Yeah, it said the Pridwin or Cambridge Catch Police me up Station. Or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. All right. I think we did pretty good. Let's take a quick look at the list. They said I kind of want to do Heather stuff, Enclave stuff, Heather stuff, Enclave stuff. It might eventually have gone to some of these places if I continued the Enclave mission, but as I understand it, the um, America Rising 2 is meant to be played through the whole story of Fallout of, of, of Fallout 4, so um, it might be a while before we visit some of these places, and I kind of wanted to bump her affinity up a little faster. So that's if you're wondering why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. That's that's the thought process. There is some thought behind it. So let's see. So we've gone one, two, three, four. Five. <laughs> All right. Does it doesn't seem as impressive when we're looking at it that way. Um, <sighs> All right. We're gonna go Hardware Town. And then we're going to just shoot east because some of the other places are east of there, like Bunker Hill and Cabot House, which I need to get to to go to Parsons. So, yeah, so Fall London comes out on the 23rd, which I'm super excited about. And we'll be immediately. Like, as soon as it drops, downloading, installing, and recording a first episode of. Um, I don't know what character. I don't, I, I might, I might, um, I talked about it a little bit with Isabella. I might be just making up a new character. I mean, I can't even. 
just I'm terrible with energy weapons, and I, I don't I don't know why I'm so bad with aiming with the. I mean, I do kind of know my perception is uh, is not great. My perception is it's just it's not. I've not put anything into a lot of the things over here that would help me be better at you know actually aiming at things. So Fallout London comes out on the 23rd, and then like two days later on the 25th is supposed to be the when Fallout 4 is updating and adding all kinds of new shenanigans. What the hell was that? A bunch of Creation Club stuff. Some other such nonsense. I know I shouldn't even have tried. Yeah, whatever. We're just gonna go. Shouldn't even have tried. So, well, what does that mean? It's gonna break. It's gonna break all the mods. So we're gonna go from. Yeah, you know, I might try to record, but like maybe a couple episodes, so that way I can deal with them breaking the mods and hopefully be able to at least get a little bit into it um, without you know, losing too much time before uh, I'm able to fix or the mod authors are able to fix their mods and get everything working again. Specifically like the the um, the script extender is where oh my god the biggest problem is going to be like if the script extender goes down a lot of other mods are going to go down with it and then just all kinds of things are not going to work so I'm going to try to play it upload it get like the first episode up the first day and then you know if I can bank another episode or two so that way I have the next you know couple weeks worth or something like that I don't know it, it, like I have a loose idea of like oh my god of what I want to do but um, the most important part is it's coming out it should be a lot of fun I'm very excited to check it out and um, I mean, who knows half the fun could be the fact that it might be a buggy mess fingers crossed knock on wood that that's not the case I know they've been working really hard for that not to be the case but you never know it's free content made by people that clearly care about what they've been doing so even if it's not perfect I am very confident that I'm going to enjoy it to at least a certain extent all right Heather is still coming I was hoping she didn't get caught up behind all right there's all kinds of, all right some of these buildings look like Cabot house like I remember what the icon looks like more than anything else so I'm, I get see me I am super mutant standing before you okay yes, you are super mutant I am super mutant they're having a super mutant conversation alright yeah this so it's like that little house shaped thing that's what cabin house looks like if I remember correctly can we detect something you picked the wrong fight Raider we're close right sort of maybe you gotta be kidding me did I just walk right past that person oh that was a great shot to the back 
We don't want to wake up Swan. All right, that's the Boylston Club. We still have two, two more. All right, Hubris Comics. That was one of the places she wanted to go to. Accidentally found Hubris Comics. All right, well, this, this place is full of ghouls. We know that. Scavenger's lead? The hell is that? Or was it lead? Lead, not lead. <laughs> oh my god, stop bouncing around. Check out Huber's Comics up Newberry Street store on the ground for auto be easy pickings. Yep, no, that's not right. That is not correct. Sweet roll! Yes, we know this is not correct. This place is full of ghouls. So many ghouls. But Enclave likes murdering ghouls, so... Dibs on any Captain Cosmos we find. Alright, bring on the ghoul party. Bring it on. Wait, what? How did, how did you get behind me? Go away from me. Barrel. Yeah, don't they come out of the ceiling or something? I think, I think that might be what the problem is. All right, are we done? I mean, they're all woken up upstairs. All right, right. Hubris Comics was on her list, wasn't it? Give Grodnax axe to Heather. Oh my God, has there been optional things for other ones that I didn't notice? Okay, you can have Grognax axe, axe for sure. Glad I can open this. Nice. Yes. I'm not gonna use it. Hey, come here. Hey, what's up? I got something for you. 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 Is this for me? Thank you. You're very welcome. Now what do ferals eat in a place? There we go. It's like this. There's nothing here but old paper and more ferals. That's true. That is true. Now... We can go through this entire place because I think scavengers know. Yeah, I don't know why everybody came here. You're all just gonna die. My pit boy light is not on. My God, I want that mod to just turn it on for me. There's all the burnt, burnt comics in here. I wonder if any of them are actually, if you can actually read any of them. Just because they're burnt. I mean, if they're completely burnt, then they would just be like ash, but if they're only a little bit burnt, you might be able to read them. All right, did I get anything else? Just needed to give her anything else. Do you else? think these ferals were here before? For the Got it. Though? You know, like, come for the comic books, stay for the apocalypse. Maybe. Nice. All right, let's go upstairs because there's what? Isn't there sh silver shroud stuff upstairs if I remember correctly? I mean, I 
again. I knew he was coming and I, I still couldn't even get set up. Seriously now. Heather, where are they coming from? So they keep sneaking up on me. Oh my god, from behind again. Help! Ridiculous. Alright, so we picked up like two scavengers notes now. Oh no. <laughs> it fell through the floor. Genius. Absolute genius. Alright, let's check out those two notes real quick. Alright, scavenger's note and scavenger's list. The list says, stuff worth coming back for. Axe, boss that is too heavy to bother with, but someone will buy comic books. That would be one or two that are still legible, always good for a few caps. Storeroom. Just need someone who could pick that lock. Have to check with Carl. Maybe he could get Ken Standish for the job. Damn, monkey creeps me out. Agreed. Scavenger's note. Can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss says. So who's the fool here, them or us? I mean, I, would, I guess you, because you're dead. I don't know what I just took. Other than there, knowing that there was goals in here, I don't remember much else about this location. I, like I said, I think, isn't there like... That's it. Silver shroudy stuff upstairs? Oh, we need, probably needed that key. And this is all vanilla. If you want to read it. Just pause. I don't know why I hit that twice. Oh, what the? Not today, asshole. Where? Seriously. Take that. Back off. We're just getting our butts handed to us by these ghouls. I don't know where they keep coming from. There's so many more blips, too. Oh, my God. Why is there so many ghouls in here? All right. Jesus. One is hitting me from behind again. I don't even know how that's possible. I just came up the stairs and there wasn't one there. Where did he come from? So weird. I missed the Nuka Colas. There's another one over there. What in the world? Like, how did they get? Stay back. How did they get behind us? I don't understand. We, I thought we cleared this area. Okay, well you're legendary. The stagger was helpful. They'll eat ya. Will they? That's not exciting. I don't remember that, but okay, that was pretty cool. This is another way to get upstairs. Okay. Jane goals. I'm legit always amazed how they managed to make it. 
how they managed to make these small buildings so complicated. It's party time. All right, what do we got in here? Bunch of beer bottles. I'll take that. Again, if you want to read it, pause it, go for it. The story is fairly interesting, if I remember correctly. Nothing mind-boggling or mind-blowing. Sorry about that. I quit. All right. Anything else? Some <laughs> drugs. Did I just say minute noodles? What's a minute noodle? Minute noodles. The hell are minute noodles? I'm confused. I do not remember minute noodles. Alright, I think we got everything on this floor. Oh, Jesus. There's normally a glowing one up here, if I remember correctly. Oh. Hi. I was just talking about you. Look at his dance moves. Yeah. Woo! He did a little spin at the end, too. That was awesome. All right. Anything else? More lore. It's so funny because I'm normally like super excited about lore, but oh bummer. Oh, wait, we can do something with the lights too. vanilla lore I'm, I'm less less enthused just because I mean theoretically I would I would have to and I hate assuming but I would have to assume that most people are already familiar <laughs> with vanilla I, that's, I still try to play it so that way it gives you the opportunity to check it out if for some reason you are not but my thought process oh this is the dressing room it's just a bathroom. Bingo. Alien blaster. Super, super helpful. Where are the comics? I was certain we'd find at least one copy of Captain Cosmos. I mean, we found two comics. Yes. But yeah, it's for being a comic book store. There's, there's a... Uh, an oddly small amount of comics. I mean, most of them are damaged. Bingo. Does she want Grognak's costume? Because I don't really want that either. I give it to her. I'd be afraid she'd put it on, though. I like her much better in the schoolgirl outfit. Once we get more into the Enclave stuff, we will be putting Enclave outfits on. I still haven't found one for her yet, though. Can we go behind? We can go behind. Alright, anyway. It's mine now. Nice. All right, so we got some fun things. This location there is... There was this old guy named Mr. Singer who traded with my mom. He told me that Hubris Comics was chock full of Captain Cosmos. Old coot lied to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. No Captain Cosmos that I saw anywhere. I feel like I grabbed pretty much everything there was to grab, unless it's on the roof. It's the only place we really haven't been. Do you do? Scooby Scooby Doo, where are you? Well, I just realized one of the kitties is laying in here. I didn't even know he was here. 
Why is this load taking so long? Oh my god. Fallout 4, please. Please load. Please. Please. Yeah, so if I'm making a new character for London, what... Oh, what should we do? What would they do for a Klondike bar? Isabella had suggested that I uh, create another character after another subscriber, and I love that idea. But uh, I, I don't know who would be down with that. Like, I think Daniel ended up being okay with me naming my guns after him. But uh, I think I, I I don't think he was as comfortable with me creating a character. I mean, it would just be called Daniel. It just it wasn't going to be like I would I wouldn't have used his last name or anything. You hear millions of people lived in Boston before the war. It must have been so crowded, like Fallon's basement when Becky has a sale. It could have just been Danny Daniels. <laughs> yeah, he's walking. All right. I, I feel like I still feel like we gotta be close. We found uh, Huber's commerce by mistake. We gotta be close. Oh my god, we found a hallucinogen. I swear to God, Cabot House is somewhere around here. And it's and it's like I swear it's this icon. But now I feel like it's more like here. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't have the map memorized by any stretch of the imagination, so. We'll just keep exploring around until either I figure it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is tough. We All right, dogs are not normally sneaky. I don't appreciate that. What is happening up there? Why is there a dead Brahmin over there? Who killed the Brahmin? Whose Brahmin was this? Oh, we're by the library. She doesn't want to go to the library, though. All right, got the library. We're by the Charles View Amphitheater, also. What is this building? Holy Mission Congregation. What is this? When I played Fallout 4, okay, when I played Fallout 4, it was on my laptop, and it was very heavily modded just to get it to work, because it should not have worked. <laughs> it should not have worked on my laptop. And when I got to areas like We've got company. Alright, again, I I was looking for him and couldn't figure out where he was. When I got to like Fight? You know, another win. Boston. Uh it did not run well. The game did not run well at all. Anna, this is Anna's lunchbox. So it's very, very likely I missed stuff. Like this little location here that like no quest sent you to that uh, doesn't really seem to have much purpose. I don't know what what the point of this location is exactly. Couples that died together were so lucky, you know? Neither one left behind and alone. Yeah, I feel you there, Heather. I feel you. Uh, 
Oh, is this gonna be another long load because we're because of where we are? Is that why it's it's loading so long? But yeah, the, the my FPS would drop down to like less than five on the laptop when I was in the city. So my, ma mainly, I tried to just get to the location, do whatever I do needed to do, and then just get out of there and get away from the location as quickly as possible with very little exploring. So I can honestly say, even with the mods and stuff that I've done, I've not done a lot of exploring in the you know the 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 city area because there's not not been a lot that has sent me here. All right. The other thing is, if we find Bridgeway Trust. That's a bank. I feel like if we find Cabot House, Pikmin Gallery is not that far you away. Are so dead. Oh god. Didn't realize I was by Backstreet Apparel. Yeah, I had a feeling somehow I was gonna miss that shot. Oh, there's one right above me. Pop pop. Not really pop pop, but I haven't, I haven't had one here. Let's let's go for one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that was satisfying. Light, please. Thank you. I love it down here by the water. I swear to God. Right, now I'm. But the fucking raiders and muties do their best to spoil the view. Yeah, they do. We're just gonna head south now. Again. Who's it? Yeah. Think you can hide? No. Not really hiding. Just walking away. Alright, we're back by Diamond City. Come on, Heather, don't waste your time with them. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll bite the bullet between episodes and I will look up. <laughs> Where I'm going since at this point we're just wandering around. I mean, we did a pretty good job, I think, of finding places despite kind of just randomly wandering around. Someone there? Excuse me, sir. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right, legendary, but I mean, could you get out from behind cover, please? his arm off kind of wish I had a jetpack all right did I permanently lose super mutants weren't oh, made we by go. the bombs you know like rad stakes were Turns out, someone did it to them on purpose. They used to be people, like us. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Maybe it's more up here. I swear to God. I'll just keep wandering around. <sighs> Wait, was Super Duper Market on the list? Yeah, we made it back to Hardware Town. Which is ridiculous. I don't know how we did that. So we went like around in a full, full circle, somehow. That's pretty funny. Yeah, we 100% went down this way already.
This is Heyman's alley. Got it. He said questioning. Huh? Oh, hell. No. Not Heyman's alley. No. Don't you die on me! What the I'll lockpick my way in. I'll lockpick my way out. Sweet. Yeah, this is right by the. Uh, why would Why would Diamond City allow there to be raiders like that close right there? Heather healed herself. All right, Heather. If I give her stim packs, will she continue to heal herself? What, what what is this is it saying I have to go back and get her even though it said she healed herself show your face come on I dare you thank you Tom Boom shakalaka. Alright, where's where's Heather? So when it said Heather heals herself, what it means is I need to go back and find Heather? Hey my first gun You okay? Hey. Mm -hmm. Here. What can I give you? Let's try it out. I'll give her... I'm sure I picked up a couple. Yeah, we'll give her... Eight. Right, can we not worry about that one dude that's up there now and just go? We murdered everybody else. I don't know what she's doing. She's doing her own thing, apparently. <laughs> she don't want to come with me. My pit boy light is on. It's just really dark here. We're now behind the library. We're by, by Swan again. Trinity Tower. I mean, technically, yes, someone is here. But I'm not, I'm not trying to mess with everybody and anybody. Okay, I feel like we've been through here, too. Huh? Get some, motherfucker! Boom! Shaka-laka! Alright, who's shooting at me? I got, like, no good shot at him. Get down! Get down! That was fun. Who's out there? I'm trying to detect whatever this is. Right here. There's something right here. Does not want to detect it. Who's there? Who's there? It's the combat zone. Combat zone was not on her list. Really? 
Come on, give me a pop up. Oh, Silver Shroud. Park Street Station. That's not what I'm going to detect. I'm going to detect. What's that? Massachusetts State House. What's up, guys? Going around murdering everybody. It's it's cool. Everything's cool. I hear something. You do. Listen. Why are you shooting me? Yeah, we don't like the gunners either. Oh, good neighbor. Was that on her list? I don't think good neighbor was on her list. Might as well check it, detect it while we're here, though. Because we know there'll probably be things that send us here. The Enclave will probably want me to kill everybody here. And there she is. That was literally it. We detect the good neighbor and then we're bouncing. I can't believe I'm this terrible at remembering where places are that I've 100% been to multiple times. I'm probably like, at this point I'm thinking I'm just misremembering the, the general location. Because I feel like I've kind of run around the area that I thought it was in. And somehow still not discovered it. So, it's the only thing I can think of. What's up, Toeks? I'm just trying to get from point A to point B, but this is like dust. Dust I can't get anywhere. It's like every time I try to travel, there's just so many enemies. I can't even. Seriously, what is this? Old corner bookstore, and ghouls are just I'm stuck on something. Ghouls are coming out of the ground. That was legendary. Anybody else? So this is where we found um, ghoulified Mama Murphy in Frost in here. Yeah. And if you kill her, she has a note for you. Which was really fun. Yeah, she was just chilling right here. Ghoulified Mama Murphy. All right, and apparently, I guess I've officially lost Heather because she didn't come with me in, into here. Yeah, it was one of those uh, addressed notes directly to my character, which I, I, I have to say I love is one of my favorite things about Frost is when it's like it directly addresses my character by name. You know, playing on the whole uh, Mama Murphy being a, what do they call it? A, a, not a psychic, but a... I forgot what the Fallout term is for what she is. Psyker? Psyker, I think, is what Fallout calls them. Like her, the um, the kid that lives under the bridge at the 188 in Fallout New Vegas. Oh my god, these loads in the town are 
way longer than I'm used to, to having. Not nearly as long as when Frost loads up. When Frost loads up, it takes. I think last time I clocked at six minutes, it took to load up. And Must have been nice before the war. You could walk Saturday. down this street, and you didn't have to worry about a mutie trying to bag you for dinner. Yeah, that does sound nice. All right. So I'm headed... All right, this is Hangman's Alley? I, I don't know. <laughs> There's somebody hanging. Haymarket Mall. Where'd that little bitch go? Oh, my God. Heather's probably going to stay and fight all them instead of running. Hey, look at what I found. Look at what I found. Finally. It's happened to me. Right in front of my face, and I just can't hide it. Authorized personnel only. Go away. No. Uh. What is this? Uh, I, I'm gonna fail that check. What is this place? What is this place? This is Cabot House. Like it says on the sign. And if you don't know what that is, you're in the wrong place. You should leave before you get yourself in trouble. Alright, what if I exit? Can I exit out? It won't let me exit out. Um. Oh no. I'd really like to come in. I'd really like to come in. No. Damn it. You really don't. Now get out of here. Why don't you. Why don't I want to come in? It seems like a nice place. Why don't I want to come in? Seems like a nice place. You don't want to come in because then I would have to kill you. I assume you don't want to be killed, so get out of here. Uh, come on, let me in? Come on, let me in. I'm done talking to you. I told you to go away. <laughs> I'd really like to come in. No, you really don't. Okay. Now get out of here. All right, hold on. Okay. okay fine. Let's see I'm if leaving. I can, let's see if I can make this work. So my charisma is also dookie. Like literally, I'm at one for charisma. So I can't do any of the things I really want to do. I can't do gun nut four. I can't do... Uh, I could do Science 3. Alright, I kind of have to do Science 3, damn it. Alright. Okay. Do I have anything that bumps up Charisma? Yes. Great Mentats. Do I have any apparel that bumps up Charisma? The Black Room Glasses. Well, wait, is that... Yeah, okay, so the other ones I had on. Anything else that does charisma? That I just happen to have with me. I mean, my schoolgirl outfit bumps up my charisma. Can I put on a wig, too? Oh, my God. Okay, so now I have on a wig. Can I put this on also? Or is that going to take off the schoolgirl outfit? Oh, no, I can put that on also. That's also charisma. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Now we're at charisma 13. Now we're at charisma 13. Yeah, come on. I told you to go away. Charisma 13. I'd really like to come in. No. What? You really don't. Now get out of here. Come on, let me in. I'm done talking to you. Why? Why? I'm 13. I told you to go away. I'd really like... No. You really don't. Now get out of here. Come on, let me in. I'm done talking. Is it... Being advised. You are being watched. That is... I'm so, so bummed. I told you to go away. What is this place? This is Cabot House. Like it says, I you don't really know what like that is. In. You're in the wrong place. You should leave really before like you get yourself in trouble. Sure. You really don't. 
Now get out of here. Come on, let me in. I'm done talking. Okay, so if I fail it, then that's it. I just I can't get Only in. Only opens with a key. I don't remember what you need to do to get in the Cabot house. All right, we'll wrap it up here. That that was a little disappointing. Um, Stay off the grass. Next episode, we will be doing Enclave stuff. But in between episodes, I will look up and try to remember how I'm supposed to get in the Cabot house because I clearly don't remember how to do it. But with all that being said, this has been episode five of America Rising 2, starring Isabel Steele. This is private property. With special guest. Heather Kasdan. I am looking at Titan. With all that being said, I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Enclave. Yep, that's right. You're part of the Enclave. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. See ya.